there's something powerful and fulfilling about putting your hands in the soil. The feeling that you got all the roots in your hands, knowing that the earth belongs to all of us. And just stick your dick in the soil and call it a day. Fucking hippie. Anyways, niche house. Creation. Seventh edition. June. 2017. It's inspired by the roots and the land around the volcano. This is big dick energy cologne. This is the fragrance. This is an Eric Hill scent. When you walk in the room, you're walking with your dick out. Not like a Harvey Weinstein walk in the room with your dick out. More of a metaphor. Goddamn Hollywood elitists fucking it all up for us. Fucking perverts. Anyways, the name indicates Italians from the South. Being a fellow uh, relative of Sicily, Palermo that is. You know, Italians from the South. It's like fucking Jenny from the block, you know, with that big fat ass. Anyways, this is proper niche shit. This ain't nothing to fuck with. Two brothers have been fucking harassing me for the longest time to review this. I hope you fucks are happy. Um, I lost this little Lucky Scent decant, and uh, I didn't miss it. You know, I, I remember I, I received it, and then I lost it. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's like a cock. You can't barely even fucking see it. But anyways, Lucky Scent sample, it's niche. You should. It's a privilege just to be able to try it. So let me not sound like I'm not appreciative. I am, thank you. Uh, pepperoni, pepperoni, let's wear some Taroni. Goddamn lava. Like a fucking middle school science experiment. Like a volcano, an eruption, like pre-cum. Like when you blow your fucking load. When you flip your lid. When you fucking squirt your fucking super soaker. This is Taroni. Let's try some on. God damn it. Fucking thing popped right out. See, when I think of niche and art, this is the exact idea of what I picture. Heavy, dark, mysterious. I like it. Strong as a motherfucker. It's like that guy in the gym that has to let you know he's lifting weights. Every time he does a set, he's, ah, he fucking's got to yell and shit. That's what this is. You know, there's two type of people in this world. There's some people that don't like to shit in public stalls. And there's some people that shit in public stalls with the door open when they're not even sitting there. The shit's literally flying out like a fucking earthquake. The Chad earthquake, we'll call it. Don't think of Chad, a gentleman's journey. He seems like the type that would cover his penis when he's in the stall and then flush if he has to poop. Um, but the Chad earthquake... Sorry, Chad. I just... Um, you know how you get insecure when you're taking a shit and there's that crack in the stall? If you're that kind of person, you're not going to be able to wear this type of scent. This is for the motherfuckers that shit in the urinals. This is for some nasty motherfuckers. People that ain't afraid to die and shit. You know what I mean? People that got fucking bulls the size of bulls. You know, not black bulls, but actual animals. Like bulls in a china shop. You ever hear that expression? I enjoy this scent. This is uh, a really great fall and winter fragrance. Um, I'm not being biased because it's Italian. I actually would wear this. I've worn it the past few days. I haven't got any compliments on it. But then again, you know, I'm just gently dabbing it on my fucking, you know, hands and neck. I suppose I'll have to do a little close quarters combat and have fucking smother Julissa in this shit. I like the scent. It's in my nose. It's very strong. It reminds me of Black Afghano. It's like a very heavy hitter niche fragrance. I would actually buy a bottle of this to wear it. I find it very enjoyable. For some reason, my sinuses are fucking up. Maybe I'm too pussy to wear it. Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, the Chad Earthquake, that's what it's called. There's a picture out there floating around. And it's literally just shit rocketing out of a guy's asshole as he grunts like a fucking meathead in a gym that gives no fucks. Um, this is the type of fragrance you wear when you walk up to a girl that you know is getting married in three days and you grab her ass. 
I don't think you can do that anymore. I think Gillette made a commercial last year where it's like, no, bro, you shouldn't do that. But then again, if a, a pretty girl walked up and grabbed your ass, the rest would be history. Double standard? I think not. Only when they're attractive are more people acceptable to that idea. I'm not going to say all, because I know we're going to get some motherfuckers that are triggered. But fuck you, okay? Let's just put it out there on the table. Personally, I would never do that. But I know motherfuckers that have and will and still do. And, uh, hey, it's, it takes bulls nonetheless. I mean, if you get knocked the fuck out, you had it coming. But if she winks back at you and farts in your mouth, I guess you fucking marry her? I don't know. Imagine telling your kids, how'd you meet mom? Well, I fucking sexually assaulted her in a public fucking bar. The rest is history. Then we went home that night, and I gave her a good Charles Dickens, and that's all she wrote. Then he, you little, you little fuck, little fucker popped out and ruined everything for me. Now she's fucking 40 pounds heavier, looks like Tony the Tiger, and has fucking saggy skin. But we're not all fucking perfect. I, I can't recommend this enough. I give it a 4 out of 5. Um, this is definitely a winter scent, an extreme cold weather scent. If you wore this during the summer, I hope someone shits in your coffee. Like, I hope one of the baristas... Actually, you're a fucking pervert. You'd probably like that if some pretty college girl just took a fucking loaf right in your goddamn mocha frap. You got fucking perv. Try not to swear as much. But it messed up my sinuses. First of all, it's one of my favorite things. Let's look at the bottle. Looks like fucking period blood or some heavy shit however you know how when the italians we talk with our hands is this some type of fucking joke love it genius marketing imagine drinking this your dick would be rock hard start coming lava out of your fucking cock your bulls your shaft your nuts will get hard like two fucking you know, things of stone. Then your dick would just spew out lava sauce all over the place. Goddamn pepperoni tits. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh, Taroni, four out of five. There you go, you brother, you brothers Grimms, motherfuckers. Always harassing me to review this. You should be glad I found it. Uh, I like it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, like I said, this ain't nothing to fuck with. I feel like Bill Cosby puts this in women. Oh, I just spilled it all over my hands. And that's all she wrote, you fucking pricks. I could either jerk off right now with this shit and turn into a fucking superhero that comes lava. Oh my god. I told you that was going to happen. <laughs> Fuck that. There's your review. This is called a one and done. Stupid fucking opening songs and shit. Why the fuck do you have a song for a cologne video? I'm bashing like the majority of the fucking reviewers. No offense to the guys I like, but it's a little cringy. Anyways... I should make a song for myself. My whole room's gonna smell like a goddamn lava cake. Fuck, my hand's already turning red. This might be my last video. I love you guys. I'm signing out.